Welcome to this CIS 101 video on syntax, semantics, and problem solving. Now, syntax is concerned with the format of your programming language, or what exactly you type in to get something to work. Now, for you, this is going to require a little bit of memorization and a lot of practice. So you'll often see examples in the, your book, and in order to practice, you'll need to type these in to JES and make sure you can run them and without any problems. Now what you have to pay attention to is the spelling, the capitalization of words, the punctuation, and the spacing in front of items. And let's relate syntax and semantics and problem solving to building a house. When you're building a house, you have lots of tools and first you need to learn how to use those tools. And there's nothing that uh, us as instructors or the tutors can do to help you do this other than to encourage you to practice typing things into JES and then maybe showing you where you might have made some mistakes. But you just got to do a lot of practice to learn how to use these tools that we're teaching you about. After you've learned how to use the tools like a hammer or a saw and other uh, tools that you might use to build a house, next you need to focus on the semantics. And semantics is the meaning of these tools. So what is a method or what is a variable? Why would you use a method? Why would you use a variable? What do they do? And to be able to gain this information, it's going to require you to read the textbook. So when you see an example, you can't just focus on the example. You're going to have to read the text around the example that explains what each line of code in the example does. Also, watching the videos that we provide for you will do a lot to help you learn uh, what each tool does. And then uh, also there's lots of help online to help explain the different uh, things that we teach you and what they do and why you would use them. Now the last task that you'll have to uh, learn how to do in this class is problem solving. So that is designing a house on your own. So you've learned how to use tools, you've learned what those tools do and how you can use those tools to build a house, but now we're going to require you to design a house all on your own. And that's going to first require that you know the syntax and semantics really well, because if you're still struggling to type things in, most of your uh, conscious thought is focusing on the syntax. And then if you don't know what, the, what you're typing in and what it means, then you're kind of focusing on the semantics but hopefully you'll gain proficiency in those. That way you can focus your thoughts on how to solve a problem that you haven't seen before. Now in this class, we're trying to train you to create something that hasn't been created before. There's no textbook out there that's gonna guide you to do accomplishing a task that hasn't ever been accomplished before. Now the homework problems that we give you in this class, yes, they've been accomplished before, but they're brand new to you. So they're perfect problems to practice your problem solving skills. And at the heart of computer science is problem solving. You are inventing something new and hopefully it's some, uh, either an application or a website or something else that uh, will help accomplish some task, but it hasn't ever been created before. So you're going to have to learn how to create something new uh, without just following a guide step by step. And it, honestly, this is the hardest part of programming is figuring out how to do something that hasn't been done before. Now, most of this class will focus on the syntax and semantics. This is a beginning programming class, but we can't hide this problem solving from you there will be a lot of pro some problem solving in every homework assignment that you do. And that will help push you to uh, learn how to do stuff and create stuff that hasn't been created before. 